this is Nathan for you. If you're a fan of delicious chili, there's a small chance you've heard of the Lion Den. Tasted his chili just to make sure it was as good as he said. <laughs> if we could make a custom-designed bodysuit that could be filled with a massive payload of chili, Robert would finally be able to sell his signature dish at Rabobank Arena. Dude, he's going to sweat his ass off. Put a lot of thought into this idea. Every time I run it through in my head, it, it works perfectly. <laughs> The individual reservoirs would be linked by a network of tubes that would all lead to a battery-powered peristaltic pump for dispensing the chili. What if that guy trips and falls? <laughs> Will he just explode? Just a wave of chili spilling out? When I put it on, the heat was so intense that I could barely have it against my skin, so I tracked down some heat-resistant polymer gel that could insulate the body, did a preliminary test with a blowtorch on various parts of my body to ensure the gel would protect even my most sensitive. <laughs> If I could convince security that I had a medically necessary pacemaker, they wouldn't be suspicious when the alarm went off. Headed to a walk-in clinic to request an x-ray that would hopefully trick the physician into writing me a doctor's note. Why is it that you need the x-ray? Well, I'm paying you for it, so... <laughs> What's the minimum I need to say to get one? Either some area hurts of your of your chest or sure. you're having a cough. Sure. Okay. What are you experiencing? Yeah, both those. <laughs> I also had a cane with a secret trigger that could dispense organic sour cream on demand. A trucker hat with a built-in cheese grater. <laughs> Got a little bit of an aftertaste, but I don't know if it's the chives or the sour cream. I think it's his fat suit. <laughs> I moved through the stadium like a ninja, switching sections after each sale. At one point, I thought security was on my tail, but I was able to lose the guy. Sold 16 bowls of delicious chili. So that's a $20 profit in one game. Wow, $20 profit. Mm. Customers arrived at Swan Day Spa and discovered that the $40 special was done exclusively by someone with a contagious disease. Customers would be a lot more likely to upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> or they just leave immediately because they think the entire place is contaminated. I created a real charity whose mission was to place people living with warts into the workplace. Probably the worst case of warts that I had was um, on my penis. Okay. And it was like a circle around my, I mean, it was. You sure it was a wart? <laughs> Maybe it was just a small vermin wrapped around? The way that the unit works is putting out a signal and the signal is, is matching with whatever the needs are that you select. Are you a healer or yes. something? Oh, yeah. Uh, what, how, um. <laughs> he doesn't know what to say. <laughs> Every credible charity had the endorsement of a public figure. And I was worried that if City Wards didn't have one, the public would never accept the idea. <laughs> How nice are you? To see you? Nice to see you too. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. I hired Miss California 2013 to be the evening's host. Do you get nervous before these things at all? Sometimes, sometimes, yeah. but. I feel like this will be easy. Hopefully I don't jinx myself. <laughs> <laughs> Knock on wood. <laughs> <laughs> Growing up, I actually had a friend who he had warts on his hand. And um, I believe his mom, or he said it was from handling a frog, he was able to seek medical attention and um, he, they were able to freeze and remove the wart, and he's just fine now. And that's why I'm so proud to introduce to you City Warts. How much time did she have to memorize that story? My hope was that some personal stories from our City Warts angels would help garner sympathy from Councilman Reyes. I think the councilman has faced out of this event. He's somewhere else. <laughs> I appreciate everything that City Warts is doing for our community. And because of City Warts, <laughs> True politician, dude. <laughs> he doesn't give a shit about this. But on the outside, yeah, he's there. Full support. You poor warts people. It is such an <laughs> honor to be in a location where uh, you're creating a wart positive environment. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Namaste. 
<laughs> you a licensed massage therapist? I'm not a licensed. I stay in practice with my girlfriend every single night, uh, and then I just work my way up from the ankles. Apply, release, apply, release. Please stop telling the story when you reach the knees, okay? She's a lucky lady. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. How about you? <laughs> Swiftly changing to the other guy. <laughs> Main focus was for her to feel good mm -hmm. and not for me to be, because yeah. a massage is not supposed to be. It's supposed to be... <laughs> He's communicating a lot with his hands. The $40 massage special that you selected is done in conjunction with a charity outreach program called City Warts. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's okay because it's not a contagious thing. Oh, actually, warts are contagious. Oh, they are? Yes. Oh, does he wear gloves or he, what? He will be wearing thin gloves. Thin? <laughs> <laughs> Anytime a customer was skeptical, we had all the credibility we needed. I don't know how much more legit you can get than an LA City Councilman endorsing the, uh, the charity. Seemingly, it seems safe. It seemingly seems like a big fucking fraud. I sue all of you. I love baking cakes. Is it the baking that you like? Or is it the look in the person's eyes that you baked it for? <laughs> Ha 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 